Today we are going to be making a smart automatic register for your home. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've had this problem in my room for a long time, where if I leave my register vent open, it gets really hot in the room. And if I leave it closed, it gets very cold in the room. So it doesn't regulate through the house very well. So I'm gonna fix this today. So I'm gonna take my floor vent like this, and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna add a servo to it so that it can automatically open on its own. This is going to be controlled with a little Wemos Wi-Fi controller so that I can upgrade this in the future. So I can add things like a thermostat so that I can set the temperature I want in the room through my phone and I can also see what temperature it is in the room from anywhere in the world over Wi-Fi. So I would also be able to turn the switch on and off automatically so I can open the right and close the register. So let's take this and get the code written for it and we can also get the servo installed into our floor register and we can get it all um, working. Oh hi there, if you guys are liking this video, make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel so you can follow more of my videos. So here I am adding a 16 volt 100 microfarad capacitor here. Um, it should be about five volts, but a little bit over won't hurt it. And this is what I have handy. So this just helps with keeping the data going through it smooth. And that's not a great explanation, but it, it just is a good idea to put it in. Okay, so all the code is working now. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the code in here. I'm just gonna talk through it a little bit. I'm not a code expert, so I'm gonna do my best to explain it. So looking through here, we have starting off with our, um, so hashtag include here, we're just including all the libraries that we need for this code. So we can just, um, these are gonna be referenced later in the code, so that's why they're in here initializing or, or um, just saying that they're gonna be in here. So that Arduino knows that it needs to pull them from our library stored on our computer. So our ESP8266, that's our board, or that's the style of board. So we just need to get our API keys. So what I'm using for this is signrick.com. So signrick is just an in-between between our Alexa and our microcontrollers, our Wemos in this case. So we need our API key right here, and then here is our device. So um, we can just take and import that API key, and we can put in our password, so we can put in our SSID for our internet and our password. And then the rest of this should stay the same. Um, besides, here's our digital fours, our deep fours, our port. You have to put D4, I don't know why. Um, so then scrolling down to here, it's initializing URL signer. I don't think this section of code is actually being used. It was just a test thing that it didn't take out, so you could technically take that out, but I don't think it really matters to be in there. Um, DHT is our sensor, is our temperature sensor that we have right here. This is the DHT, um, yeah, this is the DHT 22M2302 micro um, little sensor here, and I have the temperature set to 80 degrees right now, so we can obviously. So this is for the portion that we're using to use the app on our phone, the Alexa app, and we can turn it on and off there, but I'm actually not using that because there's a compatibility issue um, that it won't let me do the temperature control and the app control at the same time. So again, this portion of the code is really not being used, but it doesn't hurt that it's there. So if you're not familiar with writing Arduino code, the, when you even open up the Arduino for your for a new um, code, it opens up with the 
um, void setup and the void loop. So as you see here, you put your setup code here and your main code here. So those are the two things that we need for it to work. So we are going to, so you see here is our void setup. And this is the initial things that it does when it sets up for when it turns on. So then it does all this stuff, it connects to the Wi-Fi. So this is just pulling from that SSID and my Wi-Fi password that we put in up there. So up top, that was just um, telling it the information. And that just like makes it a little bit more simple so you wouldn't have to hunt through all these spots and put it in. Um, you can just put it in that one spot and then you can just say, this is my, my um, Wi-Fi password. So waiting for Wi-Fi to connect, um, this is just like some scripts that serial print that tells you um, like what's going on and stuff like that. So DHT, so I have, so the heartbeat here is the one setup. So this is um, to like keep it activated, I guess. I'm not completely sure about that, but they said that the heartbeat was um, somebody else that I was looking at, they said that the heartbeat was to keep it so that it doesn't like shut down or something like that. Um, I don't know, it's kind of important though. So I set up this void loop heart and then void loop temperature. So my void temperature is my main program that I kind of added in here. So, so I wrote this part so that it would tell me in our um, serial manager here, our temperature and then we would be able to know when it's up to that 80 degrees for testing purposes, kind of not completely necessary in real life because we don't actually have a screen plugged into this. So the get temperature is actually like getting the temperature from the sensor itself. So it's gonna get the Fahrenheit um, degrees Fahrenheit. And then, so I have it saying if the Fahrenheit current temperature is greater than the set temperature, which is referring to that 80 degrees or that 76, I think we changed it to up previous in the code, it's going to servo attach and then it's going to write to the servo that it's going to go to 100 degrees. So we're actually going to have to adjust this later so that we can um, get our on and off position so that it doesn't go too far or not go far enough to get it to open and close properly. So um, yeah, so we have one for if it gets above 80 degrees, which is our set temperature. And then we have another one if it gets below our 80 degrees is our set temperature there. So then um, it does all this, it goes to the position that we want it to, so we have it going to six degrees on the other end. So then we have, this is actually not being used, so I'm actually going to delete this, because that was for testing. Um, float get temperature, this is all, again, I think this is just for testing, so we really don't need any of that, but again, it really doesn't hurt to be in there. So yeah, so that's, that's pretty much our basic code. So I just want to show you that and um, explain it a little bit, do my best to explain it. I think it's really important when you're writing code to have it explained to you because it's kind of difficult sometimes to understand what's going on with the code. So I just wanted to um, show you guys and for those that um, are just interested in the final product, I will be listing this code in the description below and you can check it out. I don't know how I'm gonna upload it. I'll probably put it in like a Google Drive or something like that or maybe I'll get a GitHub. Um, so let's get this all hooked up for the final version and let's get it um, so that we can test it out and then we'll go install it. If we just melt that up a little bit, we can um, see our temperature rose to our above our 76 and our vent then closed because we don't want it any warmer in the room. So that's all working flawlessly. So hopefully um, when it goes back down to 76, it'll open up again and it should work. Okay, so it looks like that's looking great. So let's go install it and see how it works. So we have our microcontroller here. We can just plug in our servo for our vent here and we can put our vent on. And then we have our sun. And then we have our sensor right here that we can stick um, somewhere a little bit further away from here. So I'm just gonna run this back down this way a little bit and it's gonna live over here. So it's a little bit further away from the vent. So you see it's opened up right now and it's doing great. So when it warms up, it should close. There's the micro microcontroller right there. And then I have the sensor run core over here to get a little bit away from the vent. So it will give me a little bit better readings. If I move it around, I can probably get that to adjust how I like it. Okay guys, so we got that installed in the other room and it's working great. It's keeping the temperature working a lot better in there. So I'm super excited about this and hopefully um, it'll make things a lot nicer in the future. So I actually have 
a little bit longer of a wire as you saw in there so that I can get the sensor a little bit away from the register which is always good because you don't want your register right beside because it's going to make the other room the other part of the room but I don't want to make it too far away because then the microcontroller is like separate and it just gets a little bit complicated so we're going to go with this for now if you guys had any questions about this project make sure you leave them in the description below and there's a lot of things that um could be different about your version if you're trying to build this yourself so leave in the comments below and i will make sure to get back to you if you did like this video hit that like button and hit subscribe so you can check out more of my videos in my channel so go check that out um i'll be leaving a link in the description below for the code have a great day bye